Hi, I'm K. Prakash, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, SNS College of Technology. In the lecture series, in the solar energy lecture series, we have discussed about the solar radiations, application of solar energy, we have discussed about the various uh, applications of solar thermal power plant, and today we are going to discuss the small application of the uh, solar energy. Okay. So here, in the solar energy utilization, Coming to this topic, can you tell me what is this from this picture? The pouring the water in. This is pouring the water. water. So from this picture you are telling water. this is water. Okay. What is this? See, what this picture tells? Evaporation. evaporation. What is going to be evaporation? Liquid is going. Ah, liquid is converted into yes. steam. Gas. Gas is going. Okay. So, in our day to day life, water is very very important. Okay. So, so here, because of the solar radiation, water is converted into vapor. Can you guess the topic from these two pictures? Steam energy. Steam energy. Solar energy. So, our topic is flat plate collectors. So, how the topic is related to these two pictures? So, how the vapor is formed from the water with the help of solar radiation. Okay. So, we are using some equipment called as flat plate collectors to observe the solar radiation. Okay. So, this is solar plate collector. Have you seen these collectors? Yes, sir. Where it is installed? In our, in our colleges, where can you tell me where you have seen this? In the top floor. In the top floor. Why they are installed there? For our energy consumption. Okay, they are using for the energy consumption, they are using the solar. So here, this is a solar collector. Okay. Um, so here, the solar energy from the sun is converted into thermal energy. What is the thermal energy? It is heat energy. So the solar energy from the sun is converted into thermal energy we are using this equipment. So this solar collector acts as a heat exchanger. It acts as a heat exchanger. This absorbs the heat and transforms to another medium. From one medium it absorbs the heat and transfers to another medium. So here this solar heat can be utilized for heating the water. Heating the water. So here you can see a drum set up here. What is the purpose of this drum is to store the hot water. Okay. Here there are evaporated tubes. Evaporated tubes. tubes. Mainly there are uh, two types of uh, tubes are used. What is the have you know copper tubes? What is the property of copper? What about the heat transferring? Conductivity of heat is more. Okay, so here we are using evaporated pipes. So what happens is water is circulated to this evaporated tubes. So when the water is passing, what happens is the solar radiation is falling, so that water is getting heated. Okay, how this takes place I will explain. So the water is getting heated and then what happens is so the water is stored here. Okay. The temperature we are getting in the uh, collectors is 90 to 150 degree. So here what we have to notice is whether the collectors are concentrating collectors or non-concentrating collectors. That we have to classify. Okay. So here this is a type of non-concentrating collector. What is concentrating collector is we are getting the solar radiation and we are focusing to a particular point. Then we are replacing that radiation. That is concentrating collector. Now we are keeping this in open space. So whatever the radiation is falling on is collected. That is non-concentrating collectors. So this is a non-concentrating collector. So what is the benefit of non-concentrating collector compared to the concentrating collectors and what are the disadvantages? Okay. So here in the non-concentrating collector, the observer area is higher. It is more. The observer area is more. Okay. And then 
these concentrated or non concentrated collectors are used for solar water heaters and industrial purpose and the temperature is the working temperature is around 60 to 130 degree in non concentrating collectors and here we are using both diffuse and the beam radiations okay uh, so this is the importance of non concentrating collectors okay so thank you